Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the latest edition of Wow Lynch Wow. Dedicated to filmmaker David Lynch and inspired by the triumphant return of Twin Peaks. A friendly warning to everyone who isn't caught up on all 15 episodes of the new Twin Peaks. There will be spoilers and they will begin shortly. So viewers and listeners, be warned. It seems we're inevitably headed towards a big moment in Vegas. Hutch and Chantel were last seen chowing down on some Wendy's. They have successfully executed Warden Murphy, Duncan Todd, and Todd's assistant Roger. And they executed them all with surgical-like precision. Cooper's next on their list. They're going to be gunning for Coop. It's also safe to assume that Gordon Cole and the Blue Rose team will find their way to Vegas too, regardless of whether Wilson and Headley ever locate the real Dougie Jones. One way or another, I'm imagining Cole and his team will locate Cooper and take him to Twin Peaks. It appears that the final obstacle standing between Cooper and Twin Peaks is the menacing duo of Hutch and Chantel. It's difficult to predict how things might unfold in Vegas. There could be a big finale sequence where Hutch and Chantel have the house under siege and Cooper needs to protect Janie E. and Sonny Jim. It could be something like Hutch and Chantel driving by because the lights are out, although they seem far too skilled as assassins for that to be likely. Or maybe Wilson will finally track them down, much to the delight of Headley, and they'll bring them into the station before the assassins strike. However it plays out, I'm inclined to believe that we've probably seen the last of Dougie Coop. I think the real McCoy is back, and I think when Janie E. initially makes this discovery, it might well coincide with the arrival of Hutch and Chantel. This could all wind up resulting in a quirky, epic Lynchian moment and while I think we have probably seen the last of them, I wouldn't be surprised if Candy and the Mitchum brothers somehow figure into this as well. At least I hope we get to see the Mitchum brothers again, because them and Candy kick a lot of ass. Meanwhile, we're also inevitably headed back to Jack Rabbit's palace. I'm assuming the original quartet of officers will make the return trip. I'm thinking there's a fairly good chance they will bring Naito back, and there may even be a chance that Jimmy and Freddy tag along. Don't ask me why, but I remain convinced that Jerry Horn will figure into this somehow too, and I'm fairly certain that Bad Coop and Richard Horn will also crash the party. Maybe Spooky Sarah too. Will the Blue Rose team make it there? I have no idea. The further along we've gotten in the story, the more confusing the timeline has become. It's possible that the final moments in Vegas might afford Team Blue Rose the opportunity to arrive at the coordinates, which I assume leads straight to Jack Rabbits. As far as we know, if no one was deliberately deceiving anyone unbeknownst to the audience, Philip Jeffries knows the coordinates, Bad Coop knows the coordinates, Cole and Albert know the coordinates, and Diane knows the coordinates. Unless Diane and Bad Coop have been deceived, but I'm thinking they all know the spot. It's also being strongly suggested that Judy will be present, so Bad Coop can question Judy, but who the hell is Judy? There's a popular theory making the rounds that Judy is a code name for Major Garland Briggs. That sounds plausible, but I'm not sure if that's necessarily the case. Others are suggesting that Judy might be the person who recently unlocked the door for Bad Coop. And then others suggest it might be Naido, with some even claiming she's Josie's sister, Judy. I personally don't think Josie fits in, but Naido might. Others have suggested it could be Sarah Palmer or possibly Diane, or maybe even this Lois Duffy woman, or even perhaps Annie. I don't know what's going to happen at Jack Rabbit's palace, but something important is going to happen there, and I suspect that'll tie into the final stretch. 
one way or another, Laura Palmer is the key. But the key to what? When Hawk located the missing diary pages, he said they recovered three of the four missing pages. There's still a page missing. Laura also whispered something to Cooper, and whatever she said, Coop was horrified. And then Laura was torn away screaming in a burst of flames. So Laura Palmer knows what's up. She knows what time it is. But who else knows? I think Dougie Coop sticking the fork in the outlet will bring back our beloved FBI Special Agent Dale Cooper. But I'm talking the basics here. I still don't think he'll be all the way back. He'll have some memories, some sense of self, and some idea of his purpose, but he sure as hell isn't going to remember what Laura whispered to him. He never does. So he probably doesn't know, and I could be wrong in any case. Maybe Dougie Coop is still with us. Either way, Coop don't know. The Giant probably knows, but the Giant only speaks in mysterious riddles that are difficult to comprehend. But the Fireman did show Andy some really cool stuff. So Andy knows, Andy pretty much knows everything it would seem. And Andy at least seemed to remember that Naido was important, that she needed protection, and that she was physically okay. What else does Andy remember? And what was up with the vision of Lucy? How does Lucy fit into all this? In fact, there is an awful lot of mystery still surrounding an awful lot of characters. And things are rapidly drawing to a close. Philip Jeffries, chief among them, what's his agenda been in all this? Was that the real Philip Jeffries speaking with Bad Coop? And if so, who's the imposter? Why is Jeffries above the convenience store? Why doesn't he want to talk about Judy? Is Jeffries in cahoots with Diane? What's up with the shrinking receiver in Buenos Aires? What is Philip Jeffries' endgame here? Then we have Sarah Palmer. What's going on with her? And how does she figure into the bigger picture? The fact that they showed us a tainted spiritual finger followed by Laura's smile, that has me believing that her doppelganger or some more powerful entity is leeching off of Sarah. But whatever it is... I'm almost certain we haven't seen the last of Spooky Sarah. What about Becky? Does she have some greater role in all this? Same for Audrey, and same for Red for that matter. Red is a magician. Surely we haven't seen the last of him, have we? It also seems that Freddy, Andy, and Naito are all headed towards some greater purpose, perhaps along with a few others. Their exact role in all of what's about to go down remains a mystery, and I think Jerry Horn will be a player too. I'm also imagining that Mike and the arm still strongly figure into this, and I definitely believe we will still see a slew of woodsmen and the mother of all evil once again before all is said and done. And let's not forget the big riddle from our pal the fireman, Richard and Linda, two birds with one stone. And then there's the all-important question, does one of Jacoby's gold shovels play some significant role? I, for one, cannot wait to see how everything unfolds, and whatever happens, it sure has been an enjoyable ride for me. I love it. That's all I got. Hope you enjoyed. Please share your thoughts in the comments section, and have a wonderful night, everyone.